Well, this game kind of came out of left field, but I'm here for it. Black Myth Wukong was just announced a couple hours ago, and uh, we've got 13 minutes of gameplay that we're going to be able to check out. Now, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I'm super familiar with Sun Wukong or anything like that. I do know he's the Monkey King. I know he's from, like, ancient Chinese literature and, like, folklore and stuff like that. He's supposed to be this super powerful being, and he's been featured in a bunch of different stories and shows and movies and stuff like that. So, let's check out the gameplay and... Uh, We'll talk about it afterwards. Nima 那个城佛的根本不是他I don't think he's fictional. Dan Wayao Jang the Gushi. Nim eating me or Tingo. Take a Gushi. They told me to Jin Chan Shorty. A golden cicada. Gameplay footage is recorded directly from a pre-alpha game build work in progress. It does not represent the final look of the game. So this is PlayStation 5. Xbox Series X PC gameplay. This is the next gen of gaming. Those foxes? I'm intrigued. It's beautiful. There's no doubt about that. So we've got some evasive parrying style combat, some special powers, freezing time. Oh. Nicely done. So this is our Monkey King right here. <laughs> Seeming like he's pretty all-powerful. I wish I could translate that for you guys, but I cannot. This guy don't play no games. He's got a fire stick. I love the style of gameplay in combat. Honestly, I mean... There's a lot of games like it, but I'm kind of getting some Ghost of Tsushima vibes. Just because that's something we recently played that was similar. Yeah, dude, this is going to be good. It looks like it's going to be pretty difficult if you ask me. This guy's moving pretty quick. <laughs> to time those evasive maneuvers is not going to be easy. Take his stick! The fire baton! Yes! Back into stealth cicada mode. I love it. What in the... <laughs> what is that? Oh, 
Dude, this game looks insane. Also, notice how there's very little HUD. English subtitles would be helpful. Um, absolutely no idea what's being said here. Let me. Yeah, there's no, there's no English closed captioning on it. Oh really? I didn't, I didn't know that. Well, he's scared. The naked old Frodo just went back into the ground. We're going to have to go take on whatever wolf made that noise. They've got to have, like in the actual game, there's going to have to be some, some English subtitles, right? I would imagine. Dude, this is beautiful. It's got interesting movement. Seemingly fluid combat. Special abilities. I'm sure there's going to be cool skill trees where you can, you know, branch out and develop your powers and moves and... Stuff like that. Look at this. Now we've got a fire stick. Oh! It's a lot of enemies to take on all at once. The one thing that's kind of interesting is there's like... There's almost no HUD. I mean, we've got a couple of bars. We've got a health bar, and it looks like stamina, and maybe like mana or something like that down the bottom left. Bottom right, I'm not sure. What the fudge is going on? Just going straight Hulk mode. Homeboy just evolved into a Machamp. And back into his original form. That's sick. So yeah, there's like a little bit down the corners, but there's no like objective markers, kind of like Ghost of Tsushima. Um, there's no... From what I can tell, there's no like glints on the enemy's weapon to tell you when to block or parry or dodge or anything like that, so... It looks like it's going to be extremely challenging. I mean, it's beautiful. The game looks incredible. What is that? Some sort of a wolf, that's what's been howling at us the entire time. So this is a boss battle. Ooh. Dude, I will say whoever's playing is a beast. Oh, that is so sick. Sometimes in preview events, especially on more difficult games, it can be a little bit frustrating to watch, but whoever's playing this is a beast, dude. He's hardly getting hit. It's almost like a dance out there, you know what I mean? It's an art form. They've mastered the combat mechanics. Oh, he's about to go for that jump attack. Better watch out! Soundtrack is nice, calming, soothing. Okay, I see you. Using some new abilities here. Gonna overwhelm the enemy. With clones. And he's decided he ain't about that life. So it seems like we've got different forms that we can take. You can go up into that like Hulk style form. You can go into this fire dancing form. You can turn into a cicada. Dude, look at the fire doing 
permanent damage to him. That is so sick. It's singeing him. Oh. Dude, this is beautiful. Nicely done. Yeah, this just seems like it's gonna be, I mean, it's gonna be a challenging, but also kind of a chill, chill game. And I, like Chinese folklore and, and storytelling and some stuff like that isn't something I'm necessarily like super well-versed in. So it'll be cool to, uh, to kind of experience a new, a new era. I believe this takes place in like the 16th century or something like that. That's when the book was based off of the, the Tales of the West book or whatever. I see you, bro. Was that a rat? What the? What is going on? We got dragons. We got. Centipedes, we got roly polyolis, we got wolves, we got dinosaurs, we got. We're fly fighting the clouds? Dude, I don't even know what I just watched. Black Myth Wukong. That man's got a lot of knowledge, a lot of years on this earth. He's gonna have a lot to, to tell us. Okay, um, honestly, really interesting there. I, I mean, I, I'm not trying to be like, you know, insensitive or anything. I, I don't really know that much about it and about the, the history of it and the, the stories and stuff of Sun Wukong. So I, I also obviously couldn't like actually hear what was being said, but it looks really interesting. Like I, I color me intrigued, you know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm just a little taken aback cause I'm not sure exactly what I saw, but it looks super sick. Uh, lots of different types of enemies, some good looking combat, some interesting traversal and, and you know, just kind of setting in general. The Monkey King known as Sun Wukong, <laughs> the Monkey King known as Sun Wukong in Mandarin Chinese is a legendary figure best known as one of the main characters in the 16th century Chinese novel, Journey to the West and many later stories and adaptations. The Monkey King possesses immense strength. He's able to support the pressing weight of two celestial mountains on his shoulders while running with the speed of a meteor. He is also extremely fast, able to travel 108,000 li, AKA 34,000 miles in one somersault. Sun also knows the 72 earthly transformations, which allow him to transform into various animals and objects, AKA the cicada and the different like variations we saw of him. He's a skilled fighter capable of defeating the best warriors of heaven. His hair possesses magical properties capable of summoning clones of the monkey king himself, which we saw, and or into other various weapons, animals, and objects. He's demonstrated partial weather manipulation abilities as well and can stop people in their place with fixing magic. All right, so this is already making a little bit more sense because we saw like 90% of that there in the trailer. That's pretty cool. 
that came right from his his wiki page so yeah dude i'm i'm intrigued without a doubt for sure it looks beautiful you guys know i'm always down to play pretty much everything and i i mean this this is definitely on my radar I, i'm not sure if we I, I know we don't have a release date or anything yet i'm not sure if we have any idea when it's going to be coming out it, probably next year maybe the year afterwards but uh we're definitely going to keep our eye on it let me know what you guys think down in the comments drop a like if you guys enjoyed peace out